Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, some huge Chicago Bulls news just came out, but before I jump into today's video and break that down, definitely go check out my last video if you guys missed it. I just want to say thank you guys again for 16k and thank you guys again for all the love and support on the channel. In my last video, Zach Levine liked a few tweets about one of his good friends possibly getting traded. Definitely go give that video a watch if you guys missed it and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Leave a quick like on today's video and some comments and questions below today's video as well. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg on Twitter for putting this out and I plan to make a video tomorrow about this but the Bulls officially signed him. You know Daniel Greenberg put out this tweet about an hour or two ago by the time this video goes live and his tweet said 2020 second round draft pick Marco is flying to Chicago to meet with the Chicago Bulls his agency has announced and then just 15 minutes ago it's probably going to be longer by the time this video goes live but he has officially signed with the chicago bulls his agent has announced and this is huge for the chicago bulls you know we did he was a draft and stash player for last season i expected him to come over in this upcoming off season i made a few videos talking about a few weeks back I'm really excited for his future with the Chicago Bulls, and I do believe that this signing does officially push Lori Markkinen out from the Chicago Bulls. I just feel like his time is over with the Bulls. He really never fit in the best with us. He was very inconsistent and up and down and kind of just injury prone. He doesn't really fit well next to Vooch as well. Now, Marco, on the other hand, I'm not sure if he's the best fit next to Vooch as well, but I do believe he'll be great off the Chicago Bulls bench. You know, in today's video, I'll be breaking down his game and such again. But no matter what, make sure you guys leave some likes and comments below today's video. You know, this is some pretty big news. The Bulls are already active in this upcoming offseason. There's been many rumors about the Bulls expecting to make a lot of roster changes. You know, I love this signing. I like the draft pick. You know, he is a little skinny, so hopefully he can come over to Chicago right now. I mean, he already signed in Chicago, so hopefully he can go straight into working out and trying to get better and just trying to get bigger for next season. You know, no, but no matter what, Marco is a 6'11 power forward or center. He weighs 215. He did play overseas for the same team that the Joker did. And his pros list is pretty interesting. You know, like I said, he is 6'11". He is a decent low post scorer. He excels at scoring on off ball motion plays. He also has stretch big potential. You know, I, I have seen some videos of him working on his three pointer and his percentages have been going up game by game. Like I said, I believe he's the market and replacement. He remind his game reminds me of him a lot. And I honestly believe he could be better and much cheaper. I do expect market to get like anywhere in the high teens i'd say in this upcoming offseason and marco is a solid playmaker for his size as well he's a good rebounder and he can only get better like i said with putting on more weight and muscle he's a he's an above average athlete as well and now some cons to his game he needs to improve his face-up game he also needs to improve his playmaking skills you know he's not an elite shot blocker he's not in a, like i'd say an elite defender he struggles to guard players out on the perimeter and he's not an elite athlete but he's an average athlete you know marco is a tall skilled big man that can score and rebound the ball he had good seasons overseas as he recently averaged pretty much 16 points a game and eight rebounds per game you know he is a mobile big man that can score and rebound in the paint he'll need to improve his face-up game and of course his defensive skills you know he was projected to be a second round draft pick for the 2020 nba draft you know of course he was the bulls drafted him but no matter what i do believe he could be a very solid depth signing or even a very solid i'd say maybe six man for the chicago bulls off the bulls bench i do wonder how this changes the bulls offseason plans you know daniel tice is a free agent still you know Th thaddeus young is under contract the bulls are now going to have three power forwards i'd say i mean marco can play the center position but like i said he is a little underweight he is pretty skinny he needs to put on some muscle but no matter what i am very happy that he finally came to chicago met with the bulls front office and signed i mean he pretty much signed with the chicago bulls under an hour you love to hear that you know the deal got done right away you know this this bulls new front office has done a great job with every signing every draft pick i believe every trade they've made you know they're still changing this whole roster i'm still expecting a lot more change in this upcoming offseason 
I'm going to keep you guys updated on any news rumors that come out. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video if you guys are happy that he finally came over and signed with the Chicago Bulls. You know, I do see some Bulls fans are already comparing him to the Joker. I do believe that's a bit much. I mean, the Joker is probably the set, like I'd say the best second round draft pick overseas player. You know, he did just win MVP. You just can't compare players to that like or I know I've done in the past as well. Comparing Patrick Williams to Kawhi Leonard is already too much. You know, that's just putting too much on a rookie. But it, it is interesting that the Chicago Bulls are going to have pretty much two rookies heading into next season. You know, Marco finally signed and we have a second round draft pick. There's also been some rumors about the Bulls possibly trading up. So I'll keep you guys updated on all offseason news. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about if you guys are happy that Marco finally came over and signed, what you guys are expecting from his first season in the NBA and anything else below today's video as well. Like I said, he has a lot of potential. I believe he'll fit nicely with this Bulls roster. He'll be a great depth signing off the Bulls bench, the marketing replacement pretty much. Definitely check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about how the Bulls might sign Lloyd Marketing to the Spurs. There's been many rumors on that as well. And just a little heads up before this video ends, you know, his official contract with the Bulls has not came out yet. Once that information does come out, I'll probably I'll probably make that in a past or in a future video, include that or whatever and keep you guys updated. But I do expect him probably to sign anywhere from like a one to four year deal, only probably being a few million dollars per season, anywhere from I'd say probably like three to six million dollars per season. You know, rookies tend to sign pretty cheap contracts. So that does help the Bulls roster, you know, that it helps our cap space. The Bulls don't are kind of limited with cap space in this upcoming offseason. So signing Marco to a cheap few year deal, especially if he plays very well off the Bulls bench or say he does become a starter, that's going to help the Bulls future in the long run. You know, like I've said, I'm really high on the kid. He has a lot of potential. Same with Markkinen though. I just hope the Bulls don't treat him the same as Markkinen, I'd say. I true I do truly believe this was Markkinen's final season with the Bulls. You know, I still wish the best for Markkinen, but no matter what, I am very excited for Marco finally coming over to sign with the Chicago Bulls. He has a lot of potential. I'm really excited to see his role with the Chicago Bulls. I'm really just excited for the, like I'd say, official free agency to start. That started in a few weeks around August. I'm really just excited to see what the Bulls front office continues to do to this roster. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about any of the topics that I talked about. If you guys are happy with the Marco pick, I did see some people still complaining that they, were, they weren't too happy with the Marco pick. Same with the Patrick Williams pick as well. I see him getting way too much hate. But no matter what, I trust our Taurus and Mark Eversley. I'm just really happy with the Bulls front office and, their, and just their franchise in general. I'm expecting a big offseason from them and hopefully a playoff run next season. The Bulls have the talent. They better be a playoff team. If they don't, I'm going to be upset. But no matter what, definitely leave some comments and likes and just questions below today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.